Hello, gamers! Welcome to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I'm here with Matt and Shelley. Say hello. 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 We're on an endless pursuit of beauty and justice. Beauty and justice? Beauty, yeah. That those of two things ought to go together, yes. Well, because truth is beauty. Justice requires truth. Okay, truth is beauty. Thank you, uh, Keats. Yes. So <laughs> I, I, I got to check with everyone. Is, is the stream running okay? I, I hope my computer can play this very advanced game. <laughs> it's, it just came out like 23 years, years ago. ago. <laughs> this 2001. Is, this is where the objection meme comes from, yes. I guess. <laughs> okay. yes. This is the only thing I know about this game. <laughs> it's where the objection meme comes from. Well, Na Shelley, I know one of your strong points is objecting to things. <laughs> uh-huh. So let's objectify this game. <laughs> All right, let's let's do the tutorial. Yeah, play the first turnabout. So, you we, we're gonna have to read voices, um, and figure out crimes. So this is not this is before voiceover. Who's who's reading? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, Ooh. I'll be. The, I want you to be Phoenix, Matt. All right, Shelley, you can be her. Damn it! Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. I, I gotta find someone to pin this on. Well, he's evil. <laughs> someone like him. Is that Phoenix? I'll make it look like he did it. <laughs> My adlib laugh. That's a pretty good adlib laugh. Thank you. Does he also have? A mole on his forehead? Is he that does. What that is? He does. I don't know what's up with that. All right, here we go. Boy, am I nervous. You're meant to be Phoenix. Uh, Mia, I think that's going to have to be you, Shelley. <laughs> right? Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> I love her. I'm in love. <laughs> wow. <What>? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Monica. I'm in love. Yeah. This is you. Oh wait, she's Phoenix? No, no, you're, you're Phoenix. Phoenix. You're talking. Oh, I see. You're I talking. Was... I know this is confusing for you talking to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, hi, Chief. <laughs> oh, you are a fearsome lawyer, Matt. <laughs> I'm glad I made it on time. Perfect. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. The sexual tension is so tense. Way too bad in your It says a lot about you and your client as well. Um, thanks. <laughs> so cool and aloof. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. <laughs> I like the voice. Uh, the, the, a favor? The sound effects. Hey, Shannon, thanks for the 20 bucks for a drink. Thanks. Thank you. You know who I take out for a drink? Mia? <laughs> yeah. You mean? I think he meant Phoenix. <laughs> we haven't even He's seen a lawyer. Phoenix yet. Oh, yeah. You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. <laughs> okay. I just want to point out that like currently one of the hottest games is like, Helldivers 2, the super intense action adventure game. It's like Starship Troopers. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we're, we're reading a <laughs> 23-year-old game. Let's go! Actually, I kind of owe him, owe my current job to him. Yeah, Matt, Matt, you had stop one... being so sexy. Okay. I, I, but Matt, you have to... Phoenix decided that as soon as Mia showed up, he <laughs> needed to cool. just put on sexy and cool. Yeah, uh -huh, so right. he turned into Chuck Norris this is, suddenly. Matt is doing a very layered uh, approach to this Phoenix character. Uh -huh. Well, that's I, news to me. I don't know what Phoenix I just, was I just supposed to I wasn't Oh, I, I, he I was staring at me. <laughs> I want to help him out any way I can. I wish the text was just like a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. <laughs> it's over. Who's oh, I guess I'll be. Yeah, my life, everything, it's all over. Dot, dot, dot. Thank you, Shelly. <laughs> Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. <laughs> Death, despair, oh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. 
It sounds like he wants to die. She's so smart. Um, yeah. No, it's too uh. time. I don't think Chuck Norris is sexy. I think sexy is Chuck Norris. Is Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think it's like back put on this like deep voice. His <laughs> name is Butts. <laughs> <laughs> Best game ever made. Hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. Okay. Give me the death sentence. I'm uh, I ain't afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in the world without her. I can't. Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me who took my baby away. This is sad. Newspapers say it was you. Oh my god. Yeah, I believe the newspapers. He's clearly on drugs. Look at his eyes. Alright, let's look more. Let's learn more. Or he about was this looking guy. at Mia because he was so starry eyed. My name is Phoenix Wright. Remember, this is not to Mia. This is this is oh, to the eyes. My name is Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Here's the story. My first case is a fairly In West simple Philadelphia, one. born and raised. <laughs> My first case is where I spent most of my days. <laughs> a young woman was killed in her apartment. Oh, no. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. <laughs> <laughs> Nailing oh, no. it. Oh, my God. Larry, Larry Butts. Butts. <laughs> my best friend since grade school. Oh, man, I wonder if he was the butt of jokes. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, is this a translated game? Or, like, is it originally in English? Uh, it probably was Japanese, yeah. I think. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's, got a, that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case, to clear his name. Obviously, you know, my first case should be a murder trial yes. as a lawyer. Well, that's what Mia was saying was so nice. And that's yeah. just what I'm going to do. Hey, it looked, worked out for my cousin Vinny. It did, yeah. Turd Ferguson says Matt's voiceover is legendary. All right, let's have a first, a first case. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready. Oh, do you want to do more voices, man? Uh, the, the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Nailed it. The uh, defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Rice, is your first trial is an option. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I'm a, a little nervous. Judge is awesome. Balls he's, he's very drunk. judgy. Yeah. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For a client's sake, I hope you can control your days. Judge Santa, thank you. Thank, you, Santa. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Qigong Tea Time says, Matt, try letting the mustache do the voiceover. <laughs> I think he is letting the mustache do the voiceover when he's talking to Mia. Right, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain the readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Hands shaking, eyesight fading. He's, he's gonna blow it. Butts is gonna get executed. This death will consist of a simple question. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. <laughs> okay. Larry Butts. You got it. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Oh my god. This is what he has to quiz Judge the Judge Ernie on. Do you know who your client is? Correct. Just keep going to bow to you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover, cover to cover so many times. It's. Wait. Oh, uh oh, uh -oh. No, no way! I, you screwed I it up, Phoenix. I'm drawing a total blank here. Larry's gonna be executed. 
Oh my god, I love you, Mia. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? I mean, it's such a three-dimensional, two-dimensional game. I don't even know who she is at this point. I think she's like I think the le legal boss. The legal boss? Yeah, that's definitely what you wear. legal boss. <laughs> you don't even know the victim's name? Chest keeping. Oh my god. Oh, uh, the victim, uh, 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 of course I know the victim's name. I uh, just forgot temporarily. I think I feel a migraine. Right Look, the victim is listed in the court record. I mean, the only thing coming on is me to you. I was a bit delayed with that. <laughs> Editor, uh, fix that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go right here. I'm playing on a controller. We can press tab here. Like well, it. Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Yeah. Thank for you, Mia. Well, maybe we should check her out often. It Five. says RB is one. No, I think it's like Y on the controller. Can I just press tab and see? All right. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Here we go. I got it. I figured it out. Um, what the hell am I doing? Cindy's obvious. Autopsy report. Cindy Stone. She was a model citizen. No, she was a model comma. Okay. Oh. Oh, Dr. Plow, thank you for the 20 bucks. Wow, thank you. Nightmare All right. says that Mia owns a law firm, which is helpful. Chico and Tea Time says she's Booba McBoomer's an attorney at law, which is unhelpful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I feel pretty helped. <laughs> Cindy Stone. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Hey, Libby. I am in love. Correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was... Well, we know. She was strangled with a thinker statue. She was struck once by a blunt object, probably the thinker statue. Correct. You've answered all my questions. See no reason why we shouldn't proceed. See much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good. Thank you, Your Honor. Feel relaxed, that's for sure. Uh, you can't decide whether Phoenix Wright is like sexy and cool or like 14. Look, no, in his, in his head, he's 14. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like, but this, what? This, you don't know about the man. Like, you know, man and I are always so confident. Uh -huh. and cool. Sex. In, inside, you sound it's, like inside. No, no, I'm no, a no, scared no, 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 no. child. Other guys uh -huh. sometimes are always insecure. Th that that would it. be me. That's Chris, why you don't see Chris, it. Chris is confident all the time. He's confident on the inside as well. It's like Whereas where? I'm just covering up that I'm, you know, actually a man child. All right, law. Teenager. Well then, first a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Rogers, the victim was struck with a blunt object. To the court, just what that object was. The murder weapon of the statue was the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. How's that the record? Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence after the trial. If loving her is wrong, I don't want to be right. She looks so upset. She's serious. Howdy. <laughs> I could only pay attention to one thing during the trial. Actually, two things. <laughs> ah, yeah. Shall I just hit back? <laughs> Shelly, you're screwing up. Read your lines. Quit hitting Matt. <laughs> that evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use tab to check the court record frequently. I always say that to women on my first date, too. <laughs> <laughs> Try that, guys. Tell, tell a girl don't, on a date. Don't, don't worry, baby. I'll pick up the tab. All right, Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. I, um, um, Chief, what do I do now? Obviously, take the fifth, but... 
Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. It's very emphatic. To the point. To Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Also, I'm a stupid lawyer for letting my client go on the stand. Well, no, I see you would have to. Look at him, no, no, you wouldn't. You had not to testify against yourself. I mean, we don't know that this is happening right now. Oh. Um, yeah, I see. You wouldn't call the main witness. Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. These are all great people to be when you're in love. Um, oh, wow. Did they all die? I wasn't dumped. He wasn't just taking my call. Ever. Or seeing me ever. What did he do anyway? Oh, my God, this guy. Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. Whoa. Wow. What's on trial here? She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies, all of lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. He's been so good. Okay. Hmm, indeed, she appeared this time. The day before the murder. Mr. Dude, no way. Oh, God. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. <laughs> it appears she had several sugar daddies. This is way better than some diapers. Nightmare is saying it's set in California, but based on Japan's older legal system from 2000s. -ish. Oh, really? Thanks, thanks for oh, okay. the lore. That makes sense why, like, the first witness is the defendant, and who, Mr. I guess, Rage has to testify says, against himself. It uses a mix of American and Japanese laws, so the Fifth Amendment doesn't exist. I was going to say, because also, like, Phoenix should object to some of the hearsay that the... You, you think so, he should win. object? Make an objection. We'll we'll get there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, let's get there. Daddy's sugar. Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude. Ah, there's a California. Yeah, there we go. We can clearly oh, see wait. what kind Hold of woman on. this Mrs. Stone was. Oh my God! God. Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> this is how courts should be. <laughs> uh, Zachariah Jonah Maldonado says the dub shifts the setting to California, but the game is a satire on the Japanese legal system, which is heavily stacked against the defendant. You know who's heavily stacked? <laughs> 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 Tell me, uh, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Wow, that's inappropriate. Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Phoenix. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I Let's stop, stop him from answering? Yeah. Yes. But listen to me. I love that thump. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. There's the famous pose. That's, that's yeah. the thumbnail. Oof, wits. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she dog? Oh god. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dick. Yeah, when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Oh my god. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused's motive is clear to everyone. I hope everyone watching is having fun. Sixty-three people are watching this and having fun. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is not, this is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Oh. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Oh my god. Oh, you went. <laughs> what do I do now? Oh my god, you didn't discuss this with your client, or whatever. Should we stop? Have him answer honestly. Because, okay. you know, truth is beauty. And beauty is justice. That's I right. I feel like we should stop him for answering. 
justice for all. All right. I think. Okay. I think you should answer. Okay. Honesty is the yeah, best. No, boss. because if he perjures himself on this, it's going to look suspicious. You're right, Shelley. What you said was stupid and wrong uh -huh. and ugly because it wasn't the truth. All right. I know. I'll send him a signal. <laughs> Tell the truth. That's the signal. Yeah, yeah, I was there. I went. Order! Wow, Mr. Butts. Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man, so I like I didn't see that. Whoa. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Oh, Payne can object, but Phoenix can't object. I guess we haven't learned how to do that yet. Lying! Oh no. The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Oh, I forgot to read that out <laughs> loud. Uh, the man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. You, it's you. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Okay, so it says who. <laughs> Oh, this is a reading comprehension issue. Yes. <laughs> I only order! Order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call it witness. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, this is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. This is thrilling. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawick to the stand. Or is it shut this? It's him! Shelly, can you do his voice? My throat is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sawick, you sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? Oh, oh yes. Newspapers, yes. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> Mr. Sawick, you may proceed with your testimony. You got the like you saw today the Ooh. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought, he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead! I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. But. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Well, that sentence. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Uh, yes, Your Honor. In 2001, that's true. Uh, however, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Okay, from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Okay. Okay. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, er, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor? All right, Wright, this is it. The real deal. Well, you sure are. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know, you sound like Batman. <laughs> Yeah, because when I'm talking to Mia, I have to put on sexy cool. Okay. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Uh, your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? 
You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. <laughs> First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. All right. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it into the witness's face. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. So it's like being a lawyer. Open the court record with tabs and point out the contradictions in the testimony. All right. Uh, okay, we got that. Zachariah. Hold on. Says, the, the autopsy Phoenix report. Never seen a trial before. He's acting brand new. Yes, he's never seen a trial before. He's, uh, he's never. Yeah, he also didn't go to law school, probably. <laughs> Apparently. No. Wait a minute. Do okay, you not on. see the contradiction? The, the time of death was. was 4 to 5 p.m. And yet, very clearly, Mr. Showitz said he was knew the time was 1 p.m. When he saw that. What's his name? Was Flea. Yes, yes, and saw the dead body. Ah. Ah. A contradiction. Let's play the game. I will, I will, I will, will please you with our evidence. Ow, Shelly. <laughs> All right. All right. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. So how do you show that this was there? Okay. Well, I have an attorney's badge, so I can't do this. Objection! Yeah! Yeah! Our first objection. Okay, firstly, this comes in cross-examination. You don't actually scream objection for this, but that's fine. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> you, you, yeah. you found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Y yes, it was 1 p.m. first certain. <laughs> Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the He's autopsy report. Now. Boom! Boom! Mike, drop! The autopsy notes the time of death set sometime after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, er, no body <laughs> to find at 1 p.m. Greatest lawyer ever. How do you explain this three hour gap? Oh, he's sweating now. Shelly, say exclamation it. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Oh, that. Oh, er. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find it hard to believe. Mr. Shelly. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I heard, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. That's you, Shelly. I know Great you were job, Ray. Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. So true. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. to give your testimony again. I don't really get the chance to do that, but okay. <laughs> He's the bad guy, right? Yeah, he was the murderer. Yeah. You see, when I found the body, I, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, you know what the There was a blackout. Here. Exactly. Call BS on the, on the TV being on during the blackout. I think we have to go through this. I, I guess the victim must have been watching a video or of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. I, so I trust him. Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. 
Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Wright? Oh my gosh, my heart stops a moment every time I see her. You know what to do. I've got this <laughs> one, baby. I mean... Chief. 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 You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Hold it! Hold it. That's a precise term. Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? Well, no. I, I guess it might have been a radio. Incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. There was only one large television. Right. I can't put my finger on it, but something about this seems fishy. Something about hearing the television. The witnesses testified he heard the time. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? There, there, okay. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. Oh, man, this guy's case is falling apart. And this record proves it. Exc exclamation point. You forgot the dot, dot, dot. dot, dot exclamation point. Actually, uh, you oh, couldn't have heard a music. television or a video. <laughs> I will. <laughs> the defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Wait. Ellipses. <laughs> ah! Wait, wait. I remember now. Wait, is he wearing a toupee? I think like it sh jumps off his head. <laughs> Mr. Wit. I well, prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That? Oh. That, and you seem rather distraught. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely too bad. Yes, exclamation point. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. It, er, it must have been the shock of finding the body. This is a definitive flavor so of Phoenix Wright. This is so weird. <laughs> but... This is, like this, this is like, like, I'll give you three more chances. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, Mr. Showit. Let me hear your testimony once more. I can't wait till we get out of the tutorial. Case. Wait, this is the tutorial only? Yeah, yeah this is so okay. slow. Actually, I, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. You saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. Mm. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Let's tear him into an asshole. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. Why are we... Was he repeating his testimony? Because now, now you have to object or... Okay, so what's, what's, so what's the matter? So let's check out. Well, it's because like the murder weapon was this, and he said that oh the clock must have been the murder weapon. Oh, but this yeah. is a statue. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. So it's so not click a on that. Wait, hold on. We gotta get to the right. Think, right. Yeah. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Hold it. This is the first I've heard of it. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. So, so, so this is it. Where we inject. Okay, uh... Objection! Wait, just a moment! The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue. Nailed him. Now how is this supposed to be a clock? Oh yeah, this is music. You, you, you with your objections and your evidence, what do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Just answer the question, oh, Mr. Yeah. Sowett. Hey, I, I I, saw it there, okay? There's, That's a clock. Well, your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, the statue is indeed a clock. What? The neck is a switch, you just tilt it and it says the time out loud. 
as it doesn't look like the clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Shoot, I saw this. So the murder weapon was a table block after all. Well, it's correct. Yes, the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. But you could have heard it. I saw that. Do you have any problems with the testimony? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. This is so easy. The only way you could have known the weapon was a clock is yeah. to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly, a contradiction. Mm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Prove it! Prove I went in there! I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her! Oh, Phoenix! You struck her with the clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. Oh, that oh yeah! That was the sound you heard. Way better than hell divers. Order in the court! Intriguing. All right. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sawit, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. Oh, I'm so glad. That voice was burned to your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. This is truth. This is beauty. Whoa, whoa, what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face! <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that day, I, I never, look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, saw, Oh, he threw the <laughs> Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> totally normal for a witness. <laughs> it, it was him, I tell you. I saw him. He, he killed her and he should burn. Burn. <laughs> Give him death. Order. Order in the court, I say. Your Honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor, you claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Have any evidence? Multiple cases writing on this. I better think it through carefully. Don't get distracted by Mia's perfect amulet. Oh, your Honor, the sound Mr. Shaw had heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply. Um. um I best we better hit tab and figure out. We'll try sounding the clock, right? Well. Is there something in evidence that's got the right answer? I don't know what to do. What's the, what's the previous report? No, you would sound the clock. If you, if you use it, it'll make sense. Uh, all right, let's try it. Thank you. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Because you brought it into the court. Your Honor, may I touch the evidence <laughs> with my bare hands? No problem. I asked the court to listen very carefully. That's yeah, a good thing nobody, uh, like, oh, he was, he was wearing gloves in the cutscene. Yeah. yeah. What about fingerprint? Oh, Bing. But, uh, I think it's 825. Well, that certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. Rock! As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. 
precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawat heard and the actual time of death. Oh my God. It's so you. Matt. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this oh, one. Oh man, you are gonna burn, Sawit. <laughs> you forgot one thing. Uh oh, what was he talking about now? Well, it makes it seem like that clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing! How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case! I mean, it's been in evidence this whole time, so presumably. I, I, ellipses! Exclamation point! He's right. Oh, how am I going to prove that? Do we? Gosh darn it, I was so close. Butts is gonna fry. Mr. Wright, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Ellipses, exclamation mark. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, this ends the cross examination of Mr. Frank Sowers. Really? You don't even ask me if I have any more questions? Alright, whatever. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal! A criminal! <laughs> look at him. You lawyers are all slime! Grr, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry, I failed you. Wait, Did I thought lose? this was his, I like... mean, oh, sorry, Larry, I failed you. I thought this was the intent of There's it. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> look at his face, he's getting more confident. He's becoming more of a man. <gasps> Not so fast, Mr. Sawyer. Yeah, good. I mean, uh, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think! This is so good. But, Chief, I can't think when I'm looking. I, I mean, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Well, yes, but that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right, right. <laughs> Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Let's yes. just say yes. We'll, we'll see where it goes. Ellipses. Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Can't let me in there. Well, Mr. Wright. You say the clock was already running slow on the day of murder. Now, evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court record that could prove my claim beyond a doubt. Shut up. Ha! Tough words! Let's see you pull this one off. I have everyone on the chat. 88 people are completely riveted by this. Let's see the evidence. Okay, what would... What would uh... Passport. Wait. Oh. She was in Paris. She probably bought the statue in Paris. And so that would explain why there would be a time difference. Wait, but is it three hours slower? I don't know. I don't we know. Don't, where we don't we even are. know where this is taking place. So just, let's, let's just present it. I mean, yeah, let, let's just present it and see what happens. That's how court trials work. Take that! Take that! <laughs> the victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the oh next day gosh. there. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. Oh, yeah. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. Oh, he's going to burn. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit? Or should I say, <laughs> Mr. Did It? Oh, my God. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god. This moment. Yeah. I love lawyering. <laughs> order, order, I say. Oh my gosh. Well, these kids are certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Paint, your witness. He, er, he was arrested and uh, he has been taken away, Your Honor. <laughs> To a Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm very good at tutorials. And at this point, I think it's only formality. But this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Yes. Yes, confetti in court. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens in a court. And with that, this court is adjourned. So Zacharias says that there's a live action film adaptation of this. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, guys, movie night. <laughs> well, you know, we have an exclusive Discord for members who join Gamers Unbeaten. We could we could watch it on Discord with people. Oh, that sounds awesome. so, That actually sounds fun. It does sound fun. So hit that join button to gain access to us watching live action Phoenix Wright. It'd be fun. Uh, and please tell us in the comments below if you actually would like to watch us watch that. We uh, could do the voices better than the live action. Yeah. Totally. Well, let, speaking of which. I think everybody it, wants to see Mia, the live action. Oh, my <laughs> gosh, yeah. Oh, do I? It's it. Oh, Mia. Focus, Matt. You got to read ow, something. Ow, Shelly, stop hitting me. It turns out that Frank saw what was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. This is like Rashman. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Whoa. Whoa. All right, so. Whew, I still can't believe we won. I can believe it. Was a right. Good job in there. Oh, my. Yes. Congratulations. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you two. I to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. What oh, confetti? I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong with you? Aw, oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. <laughs> what the heck? Good. Wait, no, I mean bad. Bad, bad, bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. E ellipses. <laughs> but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was, uh, ah, uh, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. Yeah, Harry? That's name's Larry. Yes, you. I can practically see the le headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> His name's Harry Butts. His, His name's, name's Larry. Larry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, thanks, I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate dinner, movie, my tree. Oh, God, he's crushing on me. Oh, oh, oh no, I couldn't. Hey, how was you? Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. Well, you're going to give me the evidence? And... Yeah, sure, okay. A present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this block for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You? You made this? Let's see. Well, 
Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you want to cry? <laughs> Larry. You don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Oh my god, I get it, I get it. Something that proves how she felt about him? She had the copy. I guess I need to. Uh, oh yeah, right. Let me present. Figured it out. She had it. Take that. Take that. <laughs> Take that. Check this out, Larry. Pause. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. <laughs> Whatever. She probably just needed a clock. But it was rather all. heavy. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take <laughs> traveling. <laughs> See, I was paying attention. Yes. Ellipses? <laughs> well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. That made him feel a little better. Koji Supada says, Right? <laughs> I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Nope. <laughs> I shoot first. <laughs> <laughs> also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I hope they get together at some point. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is Believe in them. That's an interesting take on <laughs> lawyering. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Oh. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner on me? That sounds I'll, I'll have dinner on you. <laughs> Ow. Shall I get hurts? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. <laughs> Best game yeah. ever made. Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Er, yeah, part at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? And so, my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave me a... I didn't know it then, but that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. Really? The one he gave me? Yeah. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to <gasps> oh keep. Oh my god! What happens? What happens? Well, I mean, I think... Nope, that's the end. Oh my <sighs> god, have we been live streaming for an hour? Yeah. And that's just the tutorial? Save your progress. Yeah, I think so. I don't want to go through that again. Koji Supeda says, yeah, greatest voice actors ever. We are the best. Wow, thank you. We're absolutely the, the number one best on this chat. Oh. I mean, we want to at least see what the next chapter is going to be, even if we don't play it. Yeah. Beep, beep. Hello, this is Maya. 
Hey, Maya, it's me. Shelly talking to herself. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. That can't be me. <laughs> There's a lot of buzz about this upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. <laughs> Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. I don't get it. I, what, I, what was that about? I don't get it. I don't All get right. it either. <laughs> Me neither. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Live action movie can't be better than this. Huh? I love the, the it's visuals. It's not working? That's Damn. lame. <laughs> I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say 9, to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like, burgers? I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay, we'll hit the usual drink. All right, it's a deal. Okay, sis, so see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Great work, Shelly. Now, Miss Vey, I'll take what's mine, the papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Vey, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho, ho, I'm Santa Claus. You're not c cogniferous of my background? <laughs> Gathering information is my business, you see. Ah, oh. That's you, Shelley. I, I should have been more careful. Ho, ho. <laughs> my dear Miss Faye, I've been seeing who's been naughty and very nice. I'm sorry. But I'm afraid that I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Exclamation point. If she dies, I will, I will, I will never play this game again. <gasps> Whoa. This is like a JoJo character. That light bulb. She can't be dead. Well, I mean, it basically foreshadowed that she was going to be dead. No, she can't. I love her. <laughs> love, love overcomes everything. Her love wasn't enough to save her. Uh oh, I'm late. Oh, no. Huh. That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Uh. Blood? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Uh, examine or move? Uh, I'm Let's curious. Examine. I'm going to examine it. Oh, oh, this is a new feature. What are we examining? I smell blood, and that can't be good. Oh, I guess we gotta move. I have to check and see if Mia, the chief's okay. So we should move. Ooh. Ooh. I get it. We can move to the office. <laughs> so high tech. So high tech. Look at that no computer. Doing. That smell. Blood. Lipsies. 
Francis? I think that's me. Oh. Someone's there. <gasps> no! Ugh. Chief! 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 Oh, not like this. Oh, they have a matching necklace. It's like a yin and yang thing. And she is the other side of the necklace. Who are you? Ellipses. <laughs> She's younger than I thought. Mia remains extremely busty in death. <sighs> the strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. <laughs> I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Oh, man. Please tell me she's alive. Wow, this is, like, inappropriate. <laughs> her body was still warm. So he's touching her. I could feel it. Okay. When I held her shoulder, <laughs> Chris. <sighs> then, all too quickly... It began to fade. No! Until finally, she was cold. No! And in Damn the meantime, it! I did not call the police. <laughs> Chief! Oh, I'm examining yes. her! Chief! <laughs> it's hard to see her lying like this, but if there are any clues here... She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. <laughs> <laughs> the thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. It's actually a clock made by Larry Bugs. <laughs> At the board right now. Hmm, there are some glass shards near the chief's body. Pieces must, must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Well, it's not broken beyond all recognition. Okay, right? yeah. Right. So why I guess the court record has started? Nothing else. It seems like a clue here. A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Uh, Where is there a piece of paper uh, with writing on it? Ah, here we go. Damn it. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, God. Okay, oh. okay. Let's. No, stop. Just to see the thing oh, they want. Just go. Stop it, Chris. <laughs> I'm examining. It's a crime. I'm examining. There's a bunch of reactions in the chat. <laughs> People are like, uh, Chris, no. I'm sorry, Chris. Stop. Chris is devastated. I guess it really is just Monica now. <laughs> Nightmare says, sorry, Chris, but you'll like Maya. She going tea time says if maidenless again. So oh, okay. exclamation oh, point! No. I am maidenless again. <laughs> A word is written blood on this scrap of paper. Maya, did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store, dated yesterday. This is an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Sinister thought says she was sleeping around for now. Irony. Metaphorical says making me LOL at work. <laughs> the danger of watching our streams. I think that's enough. Oh, There's a cold conversation about why aren't there, are there not cell phones? Why is no one calling for help? <laughs> 2001. This, I, they it, might not have. Didn't I say this? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Better I better call, call the police. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's time, bro. Remember, <laughs> fellas, when you encounter a crime scene, it's always best to snoop around, touch things. Move stuff around. It'll help some police when you call them. And find out what that girl was doing here. Oh, she's oh, so Oh, Jacob E says the game music is a bit loud. Can we turn it down? Oh, it's so good, though. If anything, we should turn it off. Right, there we go. It kind of reminds me of, like, Beverly Hills Cop. Chris! <laughs> Chris! <laughs> Let All me right. say goodbye. <laughs> Look, hold on, hold on. Let, let's... Let's just see if there's anything else. Like you can examine the uh, the, the lamp. We just kind of did that already. Okay. All right. Uh, look, says, let's look at the. the we probably Japan, look at California. Feet. No. Lawyers Chris. are also detectives. Look at, look at look at whatever that thing is. There's a there's the a plant. plant. There's a bookshelf. Let's look at that. Okay. Yeah. I think it was. Uh, pilots yellow. The 
chief's chair. It's a simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Why are you sitting in the chair at a crime scene? Click on stuff that's not yellow. Okay. There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. Ugh. A <laughs> yeah. nice, luxurious place. The Gatewater? Oh my god. What about that statue? That? Okay. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon again. Stupid Larry Buck. I'm, not, made that I'm not sure if it's actually irony. I mean. Shelly, is this technically irony? Let's look at her feet. <laughs> it's painful to look. Alright, um... We already looked at the piece of paper, Mark. Yeah. Oh, cool, I can... Oh, alright, we can go this side. Turd Burgers the legacy of butts. Strikes again. <laughs> All the Chief's important documents are packed in here. She's dead. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Okay, that's it. Well, let's look at the phone. There must <laughs> Mars be a recording. Says Larry should get into the weapons industry. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'd better call the police. Hmm, that's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please. Please. Oh, yeah. sorry. That's... Come quick. What? what? What was that? Someone's screaming from outside the wall. Oh! <laughs> Goodbye, Mia. <laughs> yep. We've moved on. Stages of grief pass. <laughs> I mean, oh, she's staring right at me. <laughs> because she thinks you're the murderer. Jeez. Oh. oh, right, 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 right. She's holding the phone in her hand. Oh, my God, <laughs> Phoenix. Phoenix uh, Wright, that book. slow yeah, attorney. That the Fay and Co. Ledger book. Everything is written in the Chief's ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Really? That's it? Okay. Is there anything else on the phone? Oh, okay. Uh, the chair. Computer. Yeah, that's pretty important. Surprisingly, the Chief was never good with machines. About all she used this PC for was email. Picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. Look at the waste bin. No? Nope. The book? Okay. I think that's it. What about that? Yeah, that's fine. Is there anything? Okay. okay, that's just back and forth there, I guess. Wait, how do you call the police, though? Oh, I think you, you go back to the phone, right? No? Move. 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 Yeah. That girl just now. Where'd she go? She's a ghost. I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. Hope she didn't run on me. Yips. Yipes. Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya? Faye? Maya. Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? But if she died instantly, how did she write that? Yeah, I was wondering about that, then too. Then maybe that'll come up. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Even when we're in the deepest depths of despair and tragedy, we're I'm still thinking about Ray the says, evidence. Say hello to the best sidekick ever. So Maya is the best sidekick ever. Oh, she's no idea. She's so nice and sweet. Let's, let's, let's present her. present her. I'm sorry. Point, it wasn't Take Before that. Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood in the instant between being hit and her own death. She wrote it on the back of the receipt. Information plan. That, that, that's my name. Yes. Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would sis write my name? 
Ah, uh oh. Now I'm done. That was a game sound effect. That was the police sirens, yeah. Oh. That's your Exclamation line. point. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, police! You should quickly take out your wallet from behind your back and oh. show your identity. Oh, wow. wow. All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Oh, wait, no. no, no. You gotta do like, hey, I'm Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, 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 it's, it's more than that. Do you want to do that or do you want me to? You're Phoenix. Gumshoe, what an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? We got a person saying they saw a murderer. Oh, oh, oh. oh it must have been that woman I was looking at. It's all. I'd like to examine that for a Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, K. Okay? So people are great. Saying just great. Saying definitely the most lovable psychic. So, yeah, nightmares and come to use the awesome thing to end up. No. Maya, wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. What's your. Whoa! Excuse me. This word may Maya here it mean anything to you? Oh, that, that's me. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Oh my god. Killer? Case closed, you're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. Well, I, like I, I think we should probably put a pin in it there. Oh. This game went from being the best game ever to sucking. <laughs> Chris is you mean still because not over of Mia? Mia. Yes. Oh mama. But what Mia. but what about question mark, question mark, question mark? I liked her. That was Maya, the the underage girl. No, no not, not that, that one. one. The the the, the one from a busty one. The busty one from across the street. I the, think we better take buttons. her into questioning. <laughs> this reminds me of that interview you did. Remember Anastasia Lin, the, the beauty queen? And you're like, you know, why did you visit China and not North Korea? And she's like, oh, well, they would probably detain me. And you remember what you said to her? Uh, what did I say? You, you said, well, you're a beauty queen. Who wouldn't want to detain you? <laughs> and then I believe she accused you of being not very professional. Uh, this, this is, um, by the way, in an actual video on China Uncensored. That you guys can watch if you want. Goodness oh, gracious me. Well, yeah, thanks everyone for joining. This was a lot of fun. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. Maybe we will play Hell Divers here in the streets. It, it, it won't be as good or exciting as this. I mean, we won't have to put as much work in here. actually bring yeah. the characters to life. I guess. Um, I, I did enjoy this, though. Someone was talking about how the uh, live action is not, there's no dub for it, so we could actually read the subtitles. Out loud. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know what? That's that's actually a perfect way to do the live stream. I, I think I'm getting lost in my <laughs> after recording a bunch of episodes and then doing this, but my throat's getting kind of sore. All right, well, um, perhaps we will return to this, but in the meantime, we are gamers unbeaten. Unbeaten! And we'll see you next time.